Oxfam is a registered charity in England and Scotland, originally formed in 1942 to help Greek civilian victims of World War II. The main objective of Oxfam trading is to basically make as much money as possible to overcome poverty and suffering. To fund its activities, Oxfam opened its first charity shop in Oxford in 1942, and this collected used clothing, books and bric-a-brac for resale. And over the last 60 years, we've expanded into a global charity, working on emergency response, development work and supporting victims of conflict and natural disasters all over the world. Oxfam currently has a network of around 1,300 donation banks across the UK, which enable the general public to donate old textiles, books and shoes, and these feed stock into the Oxfam network of around 650 high street shops up and down the country, but also into our online second-hand store, which is very popular and proving to be a great way of enhancing the visibility of specialist items we receive to a wider audience on the internet. So a key part of our logistics costs are associated with the serving of these donation banks all over the United Kingdom. Each bank can receive a collection once a week, with the stock being taken either direct to shops or being fed into our centralised take-back system, which involves a large national sortation facility in the Midlands. One key problem we face is that some journeys may be made to banks which in the end contain very little stock, and if the fill level of the bank had been known in advance, then the trip could have been avoided for that week. Sometimes the opposite is also the case, where Oxfam loses out on potential donations because in a particular area the banks are overflowing and potential donors are taking their items elsewhere. In the Oxfam straight sale demonstration we are going to address this problem by equipping sets of our textile banks with cutting edge remote monitoring technology to observe the daily fill rates. At the moment the collections are very much organised based on historical fill levels, or in other words local area knowledge of typically how full a bank should be by a certain day. The new approach will allow us to move towards a more dynamic scheduling model where one can almost envisage the donation banks tweeting their status at, say, midnight every day and then the next day's collection schedule being drawn up in response. The banks in this sense become individual entities in what is now known as the Internet of Things. We think there's going to be several major advantages to be gained by the charity sector from adopting this type of technology. First of all, because remote monitoring will allow more dynamic scheduling of collections, we expect savings in vehicle mileage because vehicles would not be making unnecessary trips to the banks where stock levels don't warrant a collection. Secondly, we might also be able to target theft in certain parts of the network where the remote monitoring technology will identify unusual stock collection patterns across specific groups of banks. And thirdly, we feel there is a great opportunity to use this technology alongside our existing data on sales yields to maximise quality stock generation from certain banks. With a real-time knowledge of fill rates, the charity sector could actually begin to target donation banks in proven quality generating areas so that we maximise our financial returns. A number of different stakeholders will benefit from this work, including other charity organisations, logistics providers, local authorities who also manage networks of donation banks and the recycling industry as a whole. We will demonstrate the remote monitoring across different areas of the country with different demographic and land use characteristics and we intend to develop it fully into an operational system across the Oxfam network. For more details and to follow our progress please look on the Straight Soul website.